I'm going to show you how I built the command station for my test track so I could run X-Rail. And first we're going to take a look at the components that I used. Here we go. Okay, first of all, we're using an Elegoo Mega 2560 and a DF Robot Input-Output Sensor Shield. An Arduino Motor Shield. The Maker Fabs Wi-Fi Shield. A Sunfounder LCD Display. A DF Robot I squared C hub and a PCA 9685. We're going to be using IR sensors. We also have a DF Robot buck converter, two of them, one for the 9 volts and one for the 5 volts. A 91 adjustable power supply, 12 to 24 volts. A Lexan sheet, miscellaneous wire and connectors, and mounting hardware. So let's take a visual of these components and I'll explain why and where I'm using them. To give you an idea, here's my workspace. And this is what I started out with. And this is how I set it up on the Lexan, just to see how it would fit. More views of that. And then to drill the holes. Vroom, vroom, vroom. There we go. And there's most of the components mounted on there. And an afterthought was putting the Sunfounder LCD screen on there. And since uh, it's an, another I squared C device, I had to put an I squared C hub on there. So that comes a little bit later. So there's another view of it right there before I put the monitor on there. There's the motor shield. And there is the Buck converters, I used two of them. There's the Elegoo Mega 2560. There is a list of the components. Here are the IR sensors that I'll be using. The sheet of Lexan. The Maker Fab Wi-Fi shield. And here is the DF Robot input output sensor shield and PCA 9685 and here's the power supply it's a 90 watt adjustable 12 to 24 volt available on eBay here's the Sunfounder LCD screen that I added later and uh, DF robot I squared C hub. Now let's take a look at how all this is hooked up on my test track using engine driver.
power supply 12 to 24 volts adjustable two buck converters one for 5 volts one for 9 volts the 5 volt is to power the input output sensor shield the 9 volts is to power the mega the 15 volts is for the Arduino motor shield right there I got a PCA 9685 right here I got an I squared C hub right here which takes care of the I squared C connection here and for the LCD display. Got a maker fab, Wi-Fi shield, and it's all mounted on Alexan. We'll be using these sensors right here, the IR sensors. And I have some servos here that I'm going to use for the turnouts. I just got the turnouts about four hours after I finished this loop right here. I got tired of waiting, just running it back and forth, so I continued the loop. And then the turnouts came in, and this is what I'm using right here. Unifrog Pico, code 83. One left and one right. One's going right here. The other one's going right up there where that re-railer is. Just enough room to get the locomotive and the three cars on there. And we're going to be using X-Rail to automate this. And I already put four turnouts in there. Just in case if I want to do more because I have this one turnout up here. And I may put another one out over here going this way. Like this. So, we'll see. It's all up in the air. I'm going to be experimenting with this to see what I could do. I use my Kisger soldering station. This is the wire I used for most of the stuff, and then I have some 22 gauge wire that I also used. Here's all the tools, here's all the uh, standoffs. I use mostly the plastic ones, and then on some of them I just needed the, uh, the small screws for on the bottom. My rail joiners, you get this with the, uh, with the power supply. Here's another servo right there. So there you go. And with the X-Rail you can program your commands to show up what is actually going on in your automation on the display. Power is applied from the power supply to the input side of the two buck converters and you can see the jumpers from one buck converter to the other buck converter. The wires on the terminal are for the input of the motor shield. On the output side of the buck converters the top one is the 9 volt and that one goes to the barrel connector on the Mega 2560. The bottom output terminal which is 5 volts goes to the input output sensor shield. The PCA9685 gets all its connections as you can see up on the top from 
the input output sensor shield. Starting at the bottom, the barrel connector is the 5 volts on the Mega 2560. The next in the stack is the input output shield, which takes the 5 volts from the buck converters. And the top one is the motor shield. The right two wires is the power, 15 volts coming from the power supply. And the other two wires is the main track power. Not connected is the program track, which is the two empty slots on the motor shield. The three Wi-Fi channels and the I2C connections and the 5 volt power for the PCA9685 is picked up on these terminals at the corner of the input-output shield. They are clearly marked for your convenience. The remaining terminals on this shield are for your convenience for outputs. Each one is paired up in threes with ground, voltage, and signal. Here's the underside of the X-Rail command station. A link for all the parts and supplies for this project can be found on my webpage. The link for the page can be found in the description below. Here's a view of when I first got the track connected. I paid $95 for this loco at a train show a few months ago. Not bad with DCC and sound. You can see remnants of Leakin Creek and my end scale layout in the background. Well, I finally got the loop. Still waiting on a couple of turnouts to, so I could finish this up for the test track. All right. All right.